What does it mean to be full stack? And can I call myself a full stack engineer if I'm not as good on one side? Now, what if I have a preference for one over the other? Do I have to know everything? We uncover the truth behind being a full stack dev today. If you want to see what it's like to be a full stack engineer, then I encourage you to reach out. I've created the Coding Career Fastlane to help you accelerate your career wherever you're at in the process. Now, let's get into today's content. What does it mean to be a full stack dev? Now, let's talk through it as if we're doing the full stack JavaScript solution. First and foremost, front end. You have to know how to build out your front end code with something like Angular. Another thing you have to do is you have to be able to build out the backend code, something like Node.js or something people might be more familiar with is maybe an Apache server. Next is a database. You need to be able to save your data. Things like SQL databases, uh, Postgres, things of that nature are really great places to be. You also have to know how to do test cases for all of those, whether it's your database, your backend, or your front end. Write test cases so they all work in unison, whether it's end-to-end, -end, integration, or unit test cases. And then you have to bring it all to production. And that might just mean some deploying, that might mean you have a pipeline that makes life easier, but ultimately you provide the solution end-to-end. -end. So you don't have to be the best in everything, but you generally want to be a jack of all trades that can do a little bit of everything. Now that is what a full stack dev is like. What are the expectations we think of that we hear? And then let's talk about some of the realities. Some of the expectations are everyone is better than you. And reality is everyone is better than you at something. Also, everyone is worse than you at something. So it's finding that line of where does your imposter syndrome kick you to? And also being able to look at the other side of the coin of like, okay, they're really great at the front end and they're really great at the back end, but they don't know databases. They don't know how to set up a server. They don't know CI, CD. They don't know these other things. So the reality is always though, not exactly what you see it as. It is generally, they're also worse at something too. You just don't happen to see it in that time. Another expectation we hear and see is my code isn't as good as theirs is. Now this is the reality of the imposter syndrome. This kind of talks to that last problem. It speaks specifically to code and this is when the imposter syndrome will rear its head the most because you're a developer and all developers feel this and this is the prime reason. So if you're feeling this, no worries. It is the imposter syndrome. We can talk about it. The next expectation is you will learn everything you need to know at your job. And the reality is you won't. You never will. You need to have the reality check that you must be exploring outside of work. You must try side projects and ultimately you have to fail. Ultimately, you have to take your failures outside of work because there's a finite resources in that eight hour window you're in. And if you're not taking the time to learn outside of work, you're not amplifying your career trajectory. And so you must accept that reality that you should be outside of work. People are probably gonna comment down below, well, what if I don't wanna do all that? What if I want the reality that I just learn everything in my job? Well, that's great. You're gonna be a good developer, not a great one. And for those of you who watch the videos on this channel, we wanna be great developers, not good developers. The next expectation is you need to have a degree in computer science to be a developer. And the reality is, no. There are 1.4 million jobs in the next two years with only 400,000 computer science degrees coming out of college. It's about a 1 million job difference. There is a ton of room for growth. And truthfully, no, some of the best programmers I know are self-taught. Next expectation is the more senior you are, the easier it will be for you to pick up new technologies or frameworks. And the reality is experience can dictate this sometimes, but it's much more about how you learn for yourself and putting the time in if you know how to learn for yourself. Because the faster you fail, the faster you will learn. Last expectation I wanna talk about today is you can climb the career ladder by producing beautiful code. Chuckle at this one a little bit because, well, that's just wrong. Now, sometimes you do get to climb the ladder because of dumb luck, good timing, but most of the time you don't climb the ladder just from writing beautiful code. You climb the ladder most of the time because you provide value and that ultimately drives your promotions, your salary. It drives a ton. So just producing beautiful code will not get you to where you want to go. You have to provide value and learn what that is. And that could do a multitude of things. It could be leadership it could be writing code setting standards producing production level code it could be going to extra meetings there could be a ton in it and that's where the expectation is not 
but it should be set there. It's all those extra things that actually provide value to your job, to your boss, to who is evaluating what you're doing. You know what it means to be a full stack dev, and you know what reality is and the expectations of some of the aspects of being a full stack dev. If you feel like you want help accelerating your coding career around, around being a full stack dev, then sign up down below for the Coding Career Fast Link. It's a service I've built to help you accelerate your career, whether you're just starting out or you are advanced. Now, it's a service I've built to accelerate your career, whether you're a beginner or advanced. Ultimately, I'll help and show you how to join the Fast Link. That's it for today's video. If you got any comments or questions, feel free to reach out, hit the subscribe and like. And until next time, see y'all later.